Hello. Hello. Uh, I'm Mr. Gardner. I'm Mr. Cotton. And in this short video, we're going to look at three steps for creating or starting to create a maze game in Scratch. Uh, yeah, those being creating a sprite and giving it a proper name. Uh, importing additional costumes and animating uh, those costumes in a sprite. Yeah, and we're going to draw a background for the stage, okay? And we're making a maze game, so that'll be the maze itself. Yeah. Okay, let's start by uh, adding a new sprite. So there's some new sprite options underneath the white stage. Uh, we won't paint on this occasion, we'll just import one that's already been yep. drawn, but if you're good at drawing or you fancy making your own, you can. Yeah, I've just clicked the import and it's taken me into animals because that was the last folder I was in. Okay, uh, well why don't we scroll down and have a look what we've got. Uh, let's go with that red crab there, let's, yep. let's go with the red crab. Done. In. So here we are, we've got a sprite. Now, at the moment it's called Sprite 1, which you can see uh, underneath the stage there, but we'd like to give it a more sensible name like crab, so how do we do that Mr. Collins? Well, you click the sprite that you want to edit the name of, okay, and then you go to the sprite properties, which appear over here. The box at the top is the name of the sprite as it currently is, which is just sprite one. I'm going to type over it, call it Crab or Crabby. There we go. There you go, Crabby. And you so can press enter. See, even on the right hand side of the screen, there he's now called Crabby. Yeah. Uh, we can look at his costumes as well in that property section in the centre of the screen. And he's just costumes. got one costume at the moment, but I noticed there was another slightly different one. So if we press yeah. import there. We can add the second costume. There was another one. There it is. Crab 1B. And the difference being he's got his claws open. So if you slowly click between those two pictures. Like that. Can you see that? Yeah. Now we can make that run automatically with a script. So Mr. Cotton, how do we go about doing that? Simplest way of doing it. Okay. We're going to go to the scripts at the top of the crab. Um, we start with an orange control uh, because everything starts with an orange control. So we will say when I click the green flag, meaning when I start the game. Um, forever, let's drag a forever loop in there because we want to do it repeatedly without me yeah. having to do it. Yeah. Sure. Um, it looks because I want to change the way it looks. Go in there. I'm just going to say go to next costume like that. So forever, click next costume. We've only got two costumes, so it's just going to switch between the two. Well, right let's now. press that green flag and see what happens. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's gone a bit twitchy. Yeah, it's a little bit too fast. Okay, and there's quite an easy way to correct that. If we go back to the orange control boxes again. Uh, we can delay it slightly before it switches their costume by putting in a weight um, stri uh, line there. Okay. So one second in Scratch is actually a little bit longer than one second. It seems to be quite a long period of time. So we can actually go less than one second but more than zero by using uh, decimal numbers. Okay. So if I take that out and put in, let's say, 0 0.25, which is a quarter of a second. Yeah. Or 0 0.5 would be a half. But 0 0.25, enter. If I run it this time... You can see it's not a second, but it still works quite nicely nice there. steady yeah. clipping of mm. his claws there. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, well the last thing we were going to do is create a maze background. Uh, and that's something we need to do on the stage. So for this we'll need to click on the stage. Yep. And then click on backgrounds. Yep. And we'll edit the existing white background, background one. There we go. Now this is my top tip for making a simple maze. Get a colour from the palette that you like. Purple as a background, click on the paint bucket, fill in everything. Done. And then use white rectangles to take some of that background away. So if you choose white, and then Missed before it. you start this, you need to think where's the start and finish gonna be? So if we say the start is the bottom left yeah. and the finish is the top right maybe. Yeah, yeah, fine. I'll and start. then we just have to build quite a chunky maze that our crab can go around. Start there maybe, end here? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, could have lined just... that up nicely to get rid of the purple there, but could do that next It'll time. It'll still work. Right, so I'll just draw some walls that connect the two together then, probably. Let's go go that way. Um, I'm going to leave a little dead end in there because, uh, you know, you might put items in there that you have to go and collect oh, or yeah, something like that. Oh, yeah, might have to pick something up. I'll put another one there, like that, and then maybe draw a connection to the exit over there, like that. There we go, pretty straightforward maze. Yeah. Press OK, see what it all looks like together. Done. Okay, the one thing that I think we could improve is the size of the crab. He's a bit too big for the maze at the moment. He is, yeah. So I'm going to line him up with the, the smallest wall there. So I need to know how the smallest it needs to be. These tools at the top here, you can make them bigger, make them smaller, delete them or make a copy of them. Uh, the small one is what I want. Shrink, so shrink sprite. Right. Let's click him repeatedly until he goes as small as I want him to be. He now fits in there, so I'm going to click off and just make sure he fits, which he does in there. So it's now the right size. And if we just click that green flag, we can still see him clipping his Animations. claws. Yeah. And there we go. There's the first three steps in making a maze game.